The deaths of four Americans killed at the hands of Somali pirates touches home in New Mexico. A Santa Fe couple reacts to losing two dear friends. News 13's Deanna Sauceta is live in the Newsplex with more on that. Deanna? Well, Mike, Robert Johnston and Catherine Barsotti of Santa Fe say their friends knew they were heading into dangerous waters on their yacht, but their lust for life kept them going until the end. Phyllis McKay, Bob Riggle, along with Gene and Scott Adam were killed yesterday after the yacht they were sailing on had been hijacked by pirates off the east coast of Africa. Johnston and Barsotti knew the Adams for the last 10 years. The pirates boarded the Adams yacht sometime last Friday as they continued their around the world cruise. When the U.S. Navy heard gunfire, they boarded the yacht, but it was too late. The hostages and four pirates were dead with 15 pirates captured. Friends say the sailors knew to take precautions, but this situation proved to be too dangerous. They were both extroverts, uh, fun to be around, uh, curious about life, and wanted all the adventure and, and joy that they could. We'll miss them. The Adams had been sailing full-time on the 58-foot yacht quest since December of 2004. Mike, back to you. Okay, Deanna, thanks for that update. Now, Barsotti and Johnston were interviewed this on the CBS Early Show today. The pirates captured by the Navy could be brought back to the United States for trial.